feeling? Good, good. Just kind of rolled it, you know, at the last little part of the workout. It's nothing serious at all. Just needed to make sure that it's ready to go for the next workout. Didn't want to push it today. What is your workout schedule? How many teams have you worked out? Uh, this was my 10th one, so I've been, I've been on the road a lot. How many more do you have? Do you have um, yeah, I definitely have. I think I may have a couple more now and, you know, just finish up strong and and uh, get through the process. How tough is that to just, just to travel, let alone the basketball stuff? Yeah, the travel is definitely, I love it. You know, it's literally just travel and basketball. No schoolwork, no essays, no tests. So uh, it's definitely something I enjoy doing, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm just uh, trusting the process. <laughs> How did playing at Michigan and under a guy like John Beal prepare you for a guy with a moment like this one? Uh, you know, he prepared me every single day in practice. You know, he, his biggest thing was always to put your best effort out there every single day, and that's just what I continue to do out here and will continue to do everywhere I go. Uh, obviously, he's, going, he's leaving uh, college. He's going to the NBA. He's going to the Cavaliers. So do, you, do you feel like he's ready for it? As an NBA job like that? I definitely do. You know, he's he's so poised and he's so composed and he's, you know, definitely the greatest coach I've ever had. And uh, and I'm sure he'll do great out there. You know, he he does things the right way and then he'll definitely uh, follow through with that. How hard a decision was it for you to move back to the freshman Um, you know, my 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 intent was always to stay in the draft after after my freshman year. I felt, you know, I was ready for this moment. And uh, I felt like I had the skills, the body, and the mentality to do it. And then once Beeline left, um, it kind of made my decision easy to leave. When you look at a team like the Sixers, you know, style of play, pace, the shooting, defense, what I think I would fit in great, honestly. You know, I, I like playing up-tempo basketball, tough, competitive, you know, don't back down from no one. I definitely see that with, you know, the... The Sixers, they, they've been doing that for a very long time now, and, and I fit that mold, I fit that mentality. Um, I love to shoot, I love to play defense. You know, I'm just a real competitor out there, and I just put it out all on the line. When you're going to these 10,000, you're 10 points, do you look at the picks that these teams have and say, I'm an option for them at X? Yeah, definitely. Um, but it's just more important for me, you know, I kind of just focus on killing the workouts first and foremost before thinking about the picks because if you start thinking about the picks and everything, it starts, you know, you just start thinking about it too much. So I just, you know, come in with the same mentality I bring everywhere and then that's to be the best player on the court. You've been linked in a lot of mocks in the second round. Is that where you see yourself going somewhere there? Um, you know, we'll, we'll see on, on draft night. I think I'm definitely helping myself with these workouts for sure. Um, I'm showing a lot of different skills I didn't get to show during my college college year, um, but definitely, you know, I'm, I'm giving it my all right now, and, and uh, we'll see we'll see where I go. I think, you know, at Michigan, I didn't get to show too much of my perimeter skills, and I and I have a lot to show with that, and I can, you know, I can make plays on the perimeter. I can I can play with smaller guards. I can defend smaller guards. Um, you know, I could do all those things and I'm just out here proving, you know, proving those things.